Hey, what's happening guys? Today, we've got a new Arduino toy to take a look at, and it is pretty special. Now, this is the Arduino Maker V-Door 4000. Oh, and it mooned us. So this is it right here. And it's pretty doggone cool. Let's look a little bit closer. Now, this particular Arduino is worlds above an Uno or a Nano, even a Mega. And the price shows it. It is $60, but there's a reason for that. Let's take a look at what we've got here on this board. All right, first off, we have a micro USB interface and then over here I'm not quite sure what that one is anyway we'll get back to that this one is a LiPo battery interface over here we have a U-Blox BLE and Wi-Fi chip this is a MIPI camera connector PCI Express and that my friends is a mini HDMI are you with me so far well let's look in even closer while you weren't looking I looked this up real quick that's an I squared C connector so if we start up here from the top this is a Sam D 21 nice powerful uh, microprocessor microcontroller here we have a memory chip this is our wind bond but here here's the magic this is an FPGA an Intel Cyclone 10 and that my friends is what really makes this particular Arduino shine this board has 8 megs of SD RAM on it, 2 megs of QSPI flash. We already talked about the camera connector, the Bluetooth. Now, this FPGA, the Intel Cyclone 10, has 16,000 logic elements. Now, if you're unfamiliar with what an FPGA is, the best way I can think to explain it to you is go back in your mind. To like the 70s or the 80s when Radio Shack sold those 101 or 1001 electronic kits that had all the components laid out on them and you connected all the little spring terminals together with little bits of jumper wire you know you connect it one way it's a radio you connect it another way it's a motion detector connect it another way and it's a doorbell well, that's kind of what an FPGA is. It is basically 16,000, in this case, logic elements that you can configure in any way you want. You want to make a digital signal processor? Boom, there it is. You want a microcontroller? Boom, there it is. It's whatever you want it to be. It's got 504 kilobits of RAM on board and 56 18 by 18 bit multipliers. If you're into digital signal processing, you'll know that's important. And each one of the pins on here is capable of switching on and off at 150 megahertz. We've got a dual stacked header pins here. So this is double the size of your standard header pins. So you could put it through another board and still into something else. You can see we have five volt VN VCC ground reset uh, pins 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, what they each are. Now, keep in mind, this is a 3.3 volt logic chip. You don't want to be putting anything that needs 5 volts into it or you could damage it. Over here, we have our AREF DAC 0. So it has a built-in digital to analog converter. Our uh, analog pins and some more digital pins, PWM pins down here. So what they've done there in Italy is they've taken 
an advanced Arduino, the Sam D21, they've mated it with an FPGA and just given us the incredible ability to basically make whatever we want. I've seen other FPGA boards on the market and I've been thinking about getting into them, but they are you know considerably more expensive, you know, generally starting out at about a hundred dollars. This is a uh, reasonably priced for what's here at $60, especially with the HDMI, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, MIPI camera. I mean, all that stuff really makes it worthwhile. And the fact that it is programmable through the Arduino IDE, in my opinion, makes it something that is, uh, you know, a good starter for somebody who's looking to get into the FPGA world. So let's go over to the computer and take a look at what it's going to take to get this thing going in the Arduino IDE and then we'll give it a shot. Okay I've got the IDE up and running here and I believe I am running the latest version. Yeah you can see right there 1.8.9 so that's the latest version of the IDE. What we need to do here is come into our tools, come down here to board, go to boards manager, and up here in the search you're just going to type in SAM and then look down here and find the one that tells you it is for the Maker V-Door and in this case it's this one right here Arduino Sam D Beta Board 32-bit ARM Cortex M0 Plus by Arduino I got version 1.6.25 and it is for the Maker VDOR uh, 4000. So that's what we need right there. Once we got that one installed, we should be good to go. And if we come back up here, come down here to Tools, Board, we should be able to find it here. And there it is, Arduino Maker VDOR 4000. All right, I'm going to uh, plug in my board right now and we'll uh, hope it gets recognized. All right, it's installing the device driver here. Searching Windows Update. Who knows how long <laughs> this may take. So I'm gonna pause the video and when it's done we'll take a look okay well it only took about 30 seconds it says everything is copacetic so let's go down here and we'll put the board in and there it is on port COM10 Arduino Maker VDOR 4000 and I'm gonna bring up the blink sketch Oops, wrong button pardon me folks there we go so there's the blink sketch make sure we're in the right place we are and let's upload it it's uploading kinda of slow here But I guess it probably has to uh, import the bitstream into the FPGA. I'm not quite sure how all that works. Should be just about compiled. Come on now. Okay, there we go. Uploading. I don't know why it decided to uh, give us that 
Well, now it feels like it's on 11. Okay. Do we get a successful upload? Let's have a look here. Ba -ba -ba. Address, pages. Yeah, everything's good. Now, what I want to do here is just modify this code a little bit and uh, then we'll know it's working for sure because usually they ship Arduinos with the blink code already installed so I'm just going to mess with the timing a little bit and then we'll go over and take a look at it alright I modified the code just to give us three blinks and a pause blink 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 hey so everything's good it's just that simple to set up and communicate with your maker VDOR 4000 and to be quite honest with you that's as far as I've gotten for today the next step is going to be to investigate how to actually talk to and program the FPGA so that is going to be part two in this little series I hope you guys enjoyed this first part. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I want to thank all the patrons, and I especially want to thank Jim K. for sending us this board. Jim, it was very, very generous of you, and I appreciate it greatly. Well, that's it for today. That's all I've got. I'm out. Peace.